This is Toronto. You've probably been hearing about it in advertisements. The city's been spending a lot of money to make sure that you do. But this is the story that they don't want you to hear. They spend millions of dollars to light up a bridge, but they can't keep people from dying frozen in the street. I've been seeking out those on the front line, trying to better understand why this is happening. And I've been sleeping on the ground in the spit and cigarette butts, trying to raise awareness. It's been tough, but at least I've had my good buddy Derek with me. So David, what makes you come out here? Sleeping in, uh, in the bus shelter. Well, this is the bus shelter where the uh, man died. Just recently, he was on, uh, on that park bench there, and uh, he was wearing a, a hospital bracelet, a pair of jeans, and a t-shirt, and uh, he died here. So, I'm here tonight. He came to this place because so many people are here. He was hoping someone might help him. So, I'm going to be seeing if anybody helps me. I'm going to be seeing if anybody needs any help. I got my heater here. We just fed a guy a hot dog. If anybody comes by cold, we're going to warm him up. I'm going to make sure we get him to uh, somewhere safe. Can you explain what you have there? It's just a propane-powered heater, and it's uh, very powerful, and it'll heat this little spot up in a very short amount of time. We just had a homeless guy come by, and uh, we're able to warm him up a second and uh, feed him, and uh, he's all energized and on his way to, uh, to his, uh, hopefully, a shelter. Seaton House, he was saying. Yeah. yeah. We're going to go and check it all out tomorrow, and this is the first of many nights, and we're trying to get people to uh, to care, to warm their hearts, because if we continue on with cold, heart, cold hearts to these, these these deaths, then they're just going to continue. So what's the change? What change is going to happen? Is it going to be from the government corporations, or is it going to be an individual thing? Obviously, here in this city, it's a... Uh, it's a municipal matter, it's a, for Toronto, Toronto City Council, but it's also a provincial issue, it's also a national issue. We need to have a national poverty action plan that's going to be implemented. It's, you know, we need to solve the situation immediately, but we also need to get to the roots of the issues. Awesome. Thank you, David. We're trying to figure out why it's happening. Oh, homeless death? Yeah. Um, for the freezing and stuff? Then that's just um, people getting um, um, hypothermia, maybe? Hypothermia, things like that, not taking care of themselves, mental stability and stuff, um, you know what I mean, which can which can help you. Like, some people don't realize that uh, hypothermia sets in and you get disorientated, and uh, yeah, you can freeze in it, you know what I mean? I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't use drugs, uh, and I'm not here for, for a substance. And I'm not alone. I'm not the only person that's in this boat, I know just myself, I know three people who can't handle it uh, to just survive. I get up to $235 a month from welfare, and my worker is fully aware that I have a 15 year old that I need support as well. Um, it's not enough. Simply, it's not enough. Um, hey, I wish you all the best, Rob. Yeah, thanks. David, we're, right? Yeah, we're fighting hard, brother. Yeah, that's it. It's a hard struggle. Hey, buddy, you all right? You want a sandwich or something? Okay, man, eat your dog, brother. Have a good night tonight, man. Stay warm, man. Awesome. Where the buck? Dude, how about a sandwich? Take a picture of me, brother. I'm doing it now. <laughs> Are you hungry or what?
Thank you very much. Hey, you want a sandwich? <laughs> He's kidding. <laughs> We're gonna put keep yourself, keep yourself full. Thank you. Yeah. Can you take one of these yeah. too? Yeah. Pretty much. Hey, God bless you, my man. Hey, where are you sleeping tonight? I didn't like run away. I ain't sleeping nowhere. I'm gonna try to get into the movies. Cool. <laughs> Keep warm, my man. Come on, my brother. No, no, we're just handing out sandwiches. You want a sandwich? You hungry? I've got everything going on right here. No, man, I know you do. Have a sandwich, dude. They're from Subway. Subway. Subway sandwich. No, I think that. I'm looking at the bottom. Yeah. Here you go. You see that? They're awesome. Uh, have a good night, brother. Just giving them out. Would you like a sandwich, brother, from the subway? Please dig in. Awesome. Take a sauce, yeah, man. Secret sauce, special sauce. Awesome, brother. Where are you going tonight, buddy? You all right? You got a place? I wish I could meet more people like you. That's amazing. I feel so good for doing that. You know, Nate, hey, buddy, how you doing? Tell us about day four, Dave. That's day four right now. Uh, day one and day two, I made it to 3.30 a.m. and then about 4.30 a.m. Yesterday I was sick beyond belief, terrible headache. My feet felt like they were dipped in boiling water. I still feel sick. Uh, my vision's still a little blurry. It was really blurry yesterday, but I'm going to try and make it through the whole night tonight. I, I know that we don't have any of the, these problems solved and I know that not enough's being done and I know that the next body is, is about to be found on these streets, so I'm still out here too.